I'm Jennifer Smith. And I'm Elva Jones. And we, we are Women's Health in Black and White. White. We had a great condom video that was yeah. sort of an addition <laughs> to our, uh, our talk about condoms in general. About condoms that exist just as novelties or for right. your pleasure or just for fun. It was really great. And we still have the audio from it, which we're going to put on our Afterglow. Podcast, yeah. Yep, definitely, because it, it, was, it was funny. It was really funny. We had a really good time doing it. Somehow the video got lost, <laughs> which is um, just one example of how we are amateurs doing this. Right. Don't know what we're doing. It's not our area. So, so we decided that we would try to recreate it a little bit. Uh, it was really great though, and we really liked it, and you should definitely check it out on Afterglow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are from our notes from that video. We have flavored condoms. Right. The ones that we have here are banana, strawberry. We were just talking about the dye. The dye. That one. is super rare. That cannot be good. Can't be. Can't be good for you. <laughs> and and the vanilla one. And I will tell you right now. The banana grosses me out a little. I hate banana <laughs> candy anyway, so that would definitely not be mm -hmm. one that I would no. try out. Yeah. So we are not going to be tasting them. <laughs> if you're into flavors, go check them out. Right. Uh, t t tell us how they yeah, are. Yeah, let us know how they taste, you know? So the it's artificial sweeteners and artificial flavors. Yeah. Now, some of the flavorings weren't on the website. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't tell us anything about the ingredients. They didn't really tell us, I guess, their trade secrets. They didn't right. really tell us anything anyway. about that. Uh, it is artificial sweeteners, though, which I guess is important if you're worried about ingesting chemicals. Right. <laughs> that, that's important. Um, but it shouldn't raise your blood sugar. So if right. you're a diabetic, go, you need go, to go check your it. blood sugar before you okay. should be fine. You should be okay. <laughs> um, there are some on the market that also have things like desensitizers. If yeah. you are a man who's worried about premature performance, right. the desensitizers, the one that's most common is benzocaine, so it's kind of a lidocaine kind of a thing, um, numbs you a little yeah. bit so you can last longer. Just be sure you put it on right side out. We don't want to numb yes. her. Oh my God. That that's already a problem. Yeah. Oh my God. We don't, we don't want to do that. Then there's the dual stimulation condoms, the his and hers. Menthol is the big one that is like the warming and, and the vanilla butyl ether, mm -hmm. ether, not ether, ether, ether um, yeah. causes some, some tingling sensations. Yeah. I would say that those especially you want to stay away from in pregnancy, because I don't know how any of that's going to affect your baby. Mm -hmm. But if you are not pregnant and you are interested in a little extra stimulation, I suppose you could right. check out some of those dual stimulators. I personally don't want burning yeah. out there. <laughs> but again, if you do like that, check them out and tell us how... How they how, worked for how you? Works out. Because Hopefully, the woman has the cooling sensation. Oh, I would, I would hope well, so. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. if you've got something burning down there, you should make I was an appointment. Just to say, I associate burning with that's an STI, so that's yeah. not fun. Okay, <laughs> so we have here some uh, condoms that are ribbed or studded Spade. or spiraled, and we're just gonna yeah. open them up and check them out. Which one's yours? I think I have the spiral one. Okay, let's see what spiral. So we don't have our handy dandy. Uh, um, oh, okay, I can see it. the little spirals. Yeah, yeah, it's spiraled. Okay, so it's got little two little lines ribbed that run all the way around it in spiral form, mm -hmm. and and you can feel them. I I can't imagine that that would. Uh, I'm not sure you would feel it vaginally. I don't though. think you would. I don't think it's pronounced I... enough to feel it. Vaginally, but no, I can't imagine that would do anything vaginally. No, but maybe it's his pleasure. Maybe, although you can't really feel it from the inside at all, so it's got to be for her. Yes, I just be. don't know how that would work. Yeah, not sure. Um, I don't think that that would be something that I would personally get a lot out of, right? Mm -hmm. But there you go, it's a spiral, but it is spiral. You can feel the little you can, you can feel the, the ridges. ridges in it. Um, so I have studded. Studs. And um, same stud it doesn't turn me on or anything, but let's see what we have <laughs> for little Mr. Stud. Oh, okay, so this one actually has little studs oh, or little that. They're like polka bumps. Dots. Little, yeah, it does look like a polka dot. You can actually feel these again, and they're all over the condom, all the way around. Um, I'm still not sure about... Well, I feel these better than I thought I do feel these way better. 
I feel them better than the, the spirals. And again, I don't know that I'm going to get a lot out of that. I just, it's me, it's personal. I, these are fun. I just don't want a penis with bumps on it, personally. <laughs> you, you wonder how the bumps got there. But this is a condom, so it's different. Let me say that the the it's walls of the vaginal canal right. don't have a ton That's of why I'm index. saying like I don't know if you would feel it with if you vagina. I don't I don't know that you would. A woman's sensation is really centered in her clitoris. Clitoris, right. So you're, uh, that's Clitoris. where you're going to feel it. Clitoris. Is, it's really, that's, that's, that's really the showstopper right, right there. Yeah. Um, you know, penetration is definitely pleasurable, but right. I don't know that the vaginal canal is sensitive way. enough for that to do anything at all. I don't think so. But, um, again, you try these out, let us know. Yeah, but let us know. Maybe you have a different you might, experience. Yeah, you might get a little bit different. What is this last one? Okay, so this is ribbed. I just feel like it's going to be disappointing. I do, too. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Hold on. Maybe we have to go down. Oh. Okay. So, you see him? It is ribbed all the way oh, down. Oh, that's even more subtle than the spot. But, yeah, that, you definitely can't feel it. Did I have no. the wrong spot? No, I don't. No, if you're paying extra oh, yeah. for this, you're don't. wasting your money. Yeah, I definitely want spending extra money on this. Um, if you're looking for a more ribbed sensation, the spiral one definitely feels more mm -hmm. spiral. I mean, rib even. This just that's really this subtle. This is nothing. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't imagine getting much pleasure from this con. Mm. Um, now this one is the one that had the most potential. This says it's a G spot stimulator. We were very but excited. This was about also it. the most disappointing. <laughs> oh my gosh. But show them the pack first before the package oh. is cute. The it's like this cosmic cute. vibe, like it fits it go out of space. Oh, I was man. like, oh that it's one's gonna, gonna be out of this world. Awesome. And we'll let you so, know, see what it the, is. The G spot <laughs> is a it's the is it Graffendor? Graffendor? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure the pronunciation, but we'll go with that. It was a gynecologist <laughs> who first identified this spot. Right. It's supposed to be on the upper wall of the vaginal mm -hmm. canal, kind of behind the pubic bone. Yeah. And it, it's it's supposed to be the place inside a yeah. woman's vaginal canal that just rocks her world. Mm -hmm. um, now, the clitoris extends the clitoris is not just that little bulb okay right. it's got arms and it extends yeah. all the way back and kind of wraps around the vaginal canal mm -hmm. and i think that's the g-spot what you're doing is hitting those clitoral arms so yeah uh but that that's what he that's what you're supposed to be hitting with this condom is that g-spot so <clears throat> this is the condom this is the condom okay first of all it is also ribbed for it's nobody's ribbed. pleasure <clears throat> I can see those more though. I can this, well. Um, I can't feel them. Though. Can't feel it. Yeah. No, can barely feel, feel it. it. Um, okay, so it has this little <laughs> pouch down here, and I don't know what goes in this pouch. We don't know because it doesn't come with a filler. So no, your it's just a partner's pouch. penis is not going to. I've never seen a penis with a bump like this. I, I don't know what's supposed to go in the pouch. I don't know how this is supposed to hit anything. I don't. And oh, it's yeah. the, only, the pouch is the only part that's ribbed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the, the pouch is ribbed. The pouch is ribbed. Um, so the pouch that has nothing to fill it and is not going to touch right. you in any way is ribbed <laughs> for your pleasure. That's what I was about to say. I have no I have no idea. I mean, the only thing I can imagine is with the penis in there, the pouch will just kind of pucker up and maybe cause air extra up? friction but maybe there's air in there once you put a penis in i don't I, yeah I'm, i can't i can't yeah. imagine i don't i don't know why this is pleasurable i don't know why somebody would enjoy this <laughs> i don't know who invented it i don't i have no idea yeah what that would be useful for it just looks like a waste of latex to me yeah so, if you were thinking that the G-Spot Stimulator condom was just going to rock your world, it's not. Good luck. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not. Good luck. But please, if you do try it and it, and it does, does, something that happens that we me. don't see just by looking at it, please let us know. Please tell me. I really, we're really, just, really want to know. <laughs> we're just calling on what is supposed to go in that pouch. Um because I, it doesn't look like the person that made this was familiar with male anatomy right. at all. Or female. No. Or any. 
<laughs> I mean, it looks like the way it's made, it looks like there should be something else in the pack. Oh, no, 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 it's completely in that pack. little pouch. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I really don't know. don't know. I am at a loss. And you know, it's been weeks since we filmed that first condom mm -hmm. video that's lost. And you know what? I'm still perplexed. Yeah, I am too. I got no clue. I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we saw it a few weeks ago, I kind of forgot that it had that pouch. It, so when you open it, back, just as like, funny oh, yeah. this time. It is hilarious because <laughs> basically, mm -hmm. fellas, just focus on the clitoris. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, <laughs> if you're if you're looking to be um, a big hit in the bedroom, right? This is not the way you're going to get in. <laughs> not with a G spot no. pouch. <laughs> not with a G spot <laughs> pouch that you have nothing to fill it with. Uh, so, uh, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter. Listen at our podcast, Afterglow, um, and tell us your stories. If you've tried any of these products, if you like any of the flavors that we showed you, let us know your experiences with them, and um, like and subscribe. Thank you. And keep coming back. <laughs> Bye. I forgot about that pouch for real.